Alright guys, so here's another one for you. Let's talk about what happens when Company Portal doesn't work so well. Alright, so obviously you know from the Microsoft Store, you can download Company Portal. Go ahead, get it on machines. Um, it's a way to get installs and protection to machines outside. But let's say, you know, you're coming in, you know, this is your download apps, you know, obviously these all installed, but for example, like this one, this one failed, but say you have one stuck, say download pending or just constantly downloading and you just can't figure out why it's stuck. There's a few things to try. Uh, one is to go into, you know, your apps and go into the company portal app under advanced settings. Um, you can come in here, you can terminate the app, do a repair, do a reset. Sometimes doing one or <laughs> all three um, kind of clears the log. Uh, but sometimes, and this happened to me yesterday, you get a machine that just is stuck. Uh, its Apps are blocked, it's not pulling down. So you basically have to reset your Intune connection. Um, so if you haven't done that before, uh, basically the steps are, and some of this assumes that you have um, like your enrollment script and like a restart uh, or like a startup script kind of thing, like all that. Um, you're basically going to re-enroll in Company Portal. So you go into Intune, you know, say this was my machine having all these problems. I would go in, um, I would go into Intune, delete it there. And then you have to come here to your registry. And so you're going to come in under local machine, software, Microsoft enrollments, and you're basically going to delete this. It's not going to delete every key because it's got to keep some for like Azure, things like that. Um, and that's basically going to reset your enrollments on apps, on Intune, uh, a number of things. Um, machine will kind of re-up, um, you know, you're not deleting the machine in Azure, you're just clearing it out of Intune, so it's still going to have some connection. It's going to take 20 minutes or so, and probably a couple restarts, but basically you're going to see the machine um, kind of kick itself over, re-register itself with Intune, and then start bringing down all your required apps. So all your stuff's going to flow back in. Um, it can be a pain with some of the Autodesk stuff because they kind of step on each other's toes. Um, so that can take a little bit. I did this with the machine yesterday. Um, you see we have like almost 70 required apps. Took a little, took probably an hour once it was reset for all the things to recheck in, check that they're installed, everything like that. But I didn't have to do anything. I just let the machine sit there and do its thing. Um, so it saved me a lot of time. But this enrollments key is key to kind of like clearing things out and, and getting things going. Um, the other thing you you'll find is um, you know sometimes if you have a machine in Intune that's showing like out of compliance um, and you'll find like if you're reissuing machines um, if you reissue a machine and the original owner is someone who left their company you're gonna see your machine out of compliance uh, this has to do with the fact that there's no owner set to the machine um, there's really no way to edit that field. <laughs> it just, it says, okay, there's no owner. You still have your, like, primary user be the new person. But there's no real way to reset that except deleting these registry keys and having it re-enroll with the new user. Um, so you'll, we'll find whenever we get a laptop back and we do, like, our wipe of data, um, we would delete these keys, let the machine re-register with Intune with the new user who's taking over the machine, and that fixes and helps with 99% of your problems. Anyway, just wanted to walk through that because uh, this can definitely be an issue. So just remember um, that registry key uh, for this. So you're going to go um, your local machine, Microsoft enrollments. When you have a real bad issue, delete that. Delete your device in Intune and let it re-register. Thanks.